Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jonathan and today we are going to be talking about alpha planes. Now, alpha planes are really useful for stuff like decals, um, stickers, something you want to slap your logo onto and and have it separated from your actual geometry or your, your mesh, you know. Um, yeah, you can't unwrap your model and, and paint on the unwrap, um, but this is a great way to uh, just straight up place something separate from your mesh and have control over it. So before we get started, I actually want to just thank you guys for the support thus far. And I just think it's so so cool to form a community where, where you're throwing stuff out there and people are engaging. And it's a real blessing. So I uh, hope you guys have been well through the COVID season. I know myself, I kind of just was on a little hiatus. I wasn't making content like I normally do. And... Um, you know, I just felt like giving you guys a shout out that I, I hope you're well, I hope you're healthy, and we'll all get through this, man. So uh, let's get to let's get back to business here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a with a regular plane. So we're gonna create a plane in our front viewport, and we want this for this demo. We're gonna want it at a one to one ratio. And um, also, what we're going to be doing as we go through the alpha plane process, I'm going to show you, show it to you in three different modes. So I'm going to go standard, and uh, we're going to do it in a V-Ray material, and then we're also going to do it with Arnold. Now, Arnold's a beautiful renderer. It's now native to 3ds Max. I believe it started in 2018, but I'm, I'm really starting to dive into it. I, I'm really liking the results I've gotten. There's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's a really good render engine, and um, that's going to be the key takeaway out of all this, um, the Arnold material. And just showing you the different types because it's all pretty straightforward, very similar, but there are some slight differences. So we'll just get to it. So we got our plane here. And the first thing we want to do is apply a, uh, well, actually, wait, we'll wait for the UV modifier. Let's let's just get our material rolling. And I kind of had one started here. Uh, let's start from scratch. And we have our materials at our fingertips here. We have our Arnold physical material and our standard scan line. Let's start with the standard scan line. So for today's purpose, we're really just going to be looking at the diffuse map and the opacity map. But say you're making something like a sticker, you're going to want a, a roughness or a gloss on it, you know, because a sticker is not just going to be straight blah, you know, it's going to have a shine to it. Um, it it's going to reflect some light and you're going to see that. So again, you'll have other maps associated, but really what we're looking at is a base color and, and uh, the alpha map. So uh, I'm going to bring this down here and here's our diffuse and here's our alpha. Now the alpha, um, you know, normally you want a one-to-one -one black and white for something like this. But uh, you'll notice there's going to be some grays in the frizzles and different things. And um, this isn't like the sexiest example here, but uh, it's going to work for us. So we're going to roll with it. Let's bring Max back up. And we're just going to import this stuff. We're going to drag it into our Slate Material material Editor. And uh, and I didn't go over that. If you The hotkey for Material Editor is M. Or you can find it right up here on the toolbar. Right up top here. Always, uh, always rely on those hotkeys, though. They're money. So again, our, we brought in our diffuse, and now let's bring in our alpha map. So we have our alpha map here, and we're going to connect it to the opacity slot. And that's really about it. I mean, super straightforward, guys. So we're going to double-click the material, and then we're going to go show shaded in viewport. That way we can see it once we apply it. We're going to apply it to our uh, object here. And you're probably like, whoa, what's going on? John, I ain't seen nothing. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a whole lot of little tiny aliens up in here. Um, this is where we apply our UV map. So we got to apply our UV W map modifier, and um, it's it's under your modifier list. I just rely on my all, all my quick uh, quick buttons here. So I'm gonna click that, and we're gonna turn off real world map size. So now we got a nice one to one ratio, um, one to one tile of our of our sticker here. So and you can kind of see again where we had the one to one. Um, you'll see where we have the, the blacks, but you'll see that kind of the, the kind of gray here, the kind of frizzle, and that's where you'll kind of get some frizzling here on those edges. And, and um, again, you, you know, you can make that even look better, but but it's good. It's good to have that little bit of a aesthetic control and make things pop. So we have our sticker here, and that was the standard uh, standard path. Now let's let's make one in our, with an Arnold material. So let's just delete that. We're gonna wipe it, and let's bring in a physical material, actually. Let's not do that because we don't want to re-import those maps, right? We're going to bring that back. We're going to drop our physical material in. Now, for this one, we really look at two here, again, uh, base color map, and this one is a cutout map. So they just kind of name things differently, and you can obviously tell with the with the physical material from Arnold, you just have a whole lot more options. 
um, than the standard scan line. But again, same stuff, same concept. We're going to double click. We're going to show shaded in material viewport, and we're going to uh, apply it. And the thing with Arnold is you're not going to see sometimes the cutout in the viewport, but it will appear in the renderer. So don't don't worry about that because it will show up. So we're going to delete that real quick. We're going to do one in V-Ray. So real quick, I have to change my renderer to V-Ray. What could have been the... There we go. We'll make a quick switch. That way we have our materials at hand here. And right here, we're going to go to standard... Um, let's see here. V-Ray material. There we go. And same thing, so here we have our diffuse map. So we're gonna plat to our diffuse map. And then we're gonna throw the alpha in the opacity map. So same concept. Um, we'll see if this one shows as well. Okay, that one does. All right, there we go. So we get our nice cutout. And we're good to go. So very straightforward, very simple tutorial. And I'm gonna take you to the next step, guys, here. And I'm gonna just bring it into a project. And, um, Let's let's get this applying to. So I'm gonna back up. We're gonna leave the Arnold one on. So we're gonna render an Arnold. I'm gonna reapply that. There it is. Already applied. Cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save selected, and then I'm gonna import that into a new project. So we're just gonna call this sticker. And uh, real quick, I'll open up the new scene and come back to you. All right, we're back, and we now have the sticker imported into our little render scene here. And I just have an old project, a gun of mine, and. Um, it's be a good example to just show you. Uh, now we have this little decal here, and we're going to apply it to the uh, the mesh. It's not really applying anything. We're just going to line it up here and scale it down, and just kind of align it to our object here. So you just move it in place wherever you want to put it, scale it accordingly, and um, you know, do what you want to do. So right, you know, you just kind of nudge it just above the surface there. And that'll work out fine. Um, I, I did catch a goof, guys, so I apologize. Uh, a minute ago, I was kind of wondering why um, that that alpha wasn't showing up when I did the Arnold material, and I realized I had it. I had the alpha map in the bump slot, so uh, just a straight forehead smack. Feel free to drop an insult in the comments below. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, yeah, alpha map goes in the cutout cutout map slot here on the Arnold material. So just had to clarify that little goof. I'm sure some of you guys picked that up right away. But anyway, yeah, we apply this. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to render our scene. We're going to see what it looks like. Oh, back up, sorry, jumping around. Let's do a quick render here. Let's see what we get. It's very cool, right? We've got our image rendered out and it looks nice. It looks cut out. Um, shadows seem to be following along well. Now one thing um, you'll have to pick up too, and I don't know how it is in Arnold, but V-Ray has an option to where um, when you have your AO map kicking out, it will actually render out the whole square rather than following the alpha channel. So I'm not going to cover that, but I'm just making you aware. Um, if you're doing an AO pass, I know in V-Ray there's, there's an option to not have it follow the geometry, but follow the alpha map. So again, just giving you a heads up, there might be that same option in Arnold. Um, I'm not exactly sure at the moment, so, um, but that's it guys. Pretty simple, right? Just making an alpha plane, getting that stuff applied. We showed you in three different variants. Cancel the render here. Looks good. Um, so I hope that helped. Let me know, uh, what other future content you guys want to see. And, um, again, thanks for stopping by. I've been blessed. The community has been awesome. And let's keep moving on, man. Let's keep learning. Let's learn together. I'm not pretentious. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm learning every day, man. So if you find better ways to do things, teach me. Drop a comment. So I appreciate it, man. All right, take care, guys.